Hi, welcome to ESP32 tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. I'm presenting this tutorial from Canada. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how we can control the position of a servo motor using ESP32 and a potentiometer. When you rotate it, you can move the servo to any angle you want. And also, as you can see, it shows here on the serial monitor. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. Let me briefly explain the servo motor. Servo motor is a type of motor that uh, the shaft can be controlled to move only 180 degrees or the half a cycle, half a circle, something like that. And then you can control precisely where it should be between 0 and 180 degrees. There are also other types of servo motors that, for example, there is something called continuous servo, which I have the link below. It will rotate 360 degrees and you can control it. Uh, but these are the most common one. And also you might get this type of servo motor, which is very heavy with high torque it is the same way it can go 0 to 180 degrees and it will stop so this is MG966R version and this is the metal gear this is all metal and this is a plastic gear so this will be much cheaper like three or four or five times cheaper than this uh, but uh, in general, this is the operation and you can control it. So the servo motor has three wires. The darker wire is the ground. The five volts is always at the middle in case we, you make mistake in terms of connection in RC or car or airplane. So the middle is always five volts. And this is a signal. You might see it as a black wire on this side. Red is always red. On this side, you might see white, but doesn't matter. So they are the same uh, uh, configuration is exactly the same ground, five volts and signal. Also, I have another video explaining how to control a servo motor using ESP32 without potentiometer. The link for the video is below this video. Also, I have another video explaining how to control more than one servo motors using ESP32. The link for the video is also below this video in the description. And now this is the wiring on how to connect the servo motor and the potentiometer or variable resistor. The VCC or 5 volts is at the middle and this is a signal where the signal goes to the servo to control it. And I've extended using this uh, male connector to female on this side. And I've, if you look at the uh, USB connector, I've connected the ground here where it says ground. And the 5 volt is connected to V5. And your uh, board is the 5 volt is somewhere else. Just find that pin. And even if you have this type of board, it will work. Just connect it to 5 volts of the pin here, for example, in here. And then the signal pin is connected to pin 14 here. It says G14 and the code, we will just type 14. All the variable resistors will have three wires. The middle is the most important one. One side will be connected to 3.3 volts or 5 volts. The other side will be connected to the ground. And then the middle pin is where we read it. And when you rotate it to the maximum, this is the pin where you connect it to the positive. I've connected now female wire for my potentiometer. The right side, I'm going to connect it to 3.3 volts. Here I have 3.3 volts at this side. And the middle pin, I'm going to connect it to pin 12. And then the last pin here. I'm going to connect it to the ground where I have here one ground pin G and D. Uh, 
if you see the servo and the board is turning on and off, it means that the power that the servo needs is cannot be supplied by the board, so you have to supply separate 5 volts. And here is how you do it. Move the servo pin, this is the middle, the power of the servo. Uh, the, s the signal is there, remove the power and then connect external power to this pin, the pin that goes to servo the red wire. To the now I'm connecting external power to the servo and and this is the ground of my external power and here is a pen for the ground and now we have no issue to make sure that your Arduino is ready with for ESP32 in order to start using ESP32 with Arduino IDE you need to prepare Arduino IDE for that purpose you will copy and paste it here you see it says package esp32index.json at the end so once you paste it here click OK click OK this is telling Arduino IDE where to get the board driver click on tools and then board boards board manager and here wait for this to complete at the bottom this bar graph and then type here ESP32 you see ESP32 by Espressive Systems it says installed in your case it will not be installed you will have install button here click on it and it will take maybe a few seconds or a minute and the installation once is completed click close now we have to tell Arduino IDE which board you're working with because the driver is ready click on tool boards this is Arduino IDE which you will usually work but scroll down until you see a line below that all of these are ESP32 and ESP32 rover module is the one that you click and select and the dot will appear now we have to select the port for that we have to find out which port we are using right click on the start menu device manager and you see port click on this arrow to collapse it and mine is using COM port silicon lab if I disconnect it now you will see that it will disappear connecting it back so this is COM6 note that click on tool port and you will see COM6 is already selected and now you can write your program and run it Now let me explain the code. Now the original code is taken from here. You have to download the library. This is the original source by Jarek Parrell. And I've updated it so it will not work. The link that I will provide you will work. Once you save the zip file, click on sketch, include library, add .zip library, and then point it to where you have saved it, for example, in your PC and downloads. Select the zip file that you have download it click open and the library will be included now the example will not show until you close the all instances of this Arduino and reopen it now let's open an example for potentiometer click on file examples and scroll down until you see servo ESP32 and select servo potentiometer and this is the file This line it says servo ESP32.h. This is part of the library. We are defining a pin for potentiometer uh, for servo. We are defining a pin for potentiometer, and then we create an instance of this class here, and we call it servo one. Inside the setup, we initialize the serial monitor with 115,200 baud per second, and from this object we create servo dot attach, and we attach the pin in this case 14 will be attached and then inside the loop we read the analog pen using analog read potentiometer pen so this will read the value it will be some value and we use map 
and we get the value which is between 0 to 4096 and we map it to an angle of 0 to 1080 180 sorry so when you move the potentiometer you get some value this is analog to digital converter you get some value between 0 to 4096 so we are mapping it and the calculation of this will be stored in this variable called servo position of type integer and then we use servo dot write pass this value here this is as if we type 30 degrees so this goes to 30 degrees but now it this depends on the position of the potentiometer so it changes accordingly and we print this text on the screen the position and give it 20 milliseconds so the servo can go to that location and the loop will continuously monitor the potentiometer and move the servo to that location and here is a demonstration now the servo is at 100 degrees or 99 degrees and I'm moving my potentiometer or variable resistor and it goes to 179 if I return it back it responds it responds very accurately And if you, the reason that you don't see 179 is that the potentiometer doesn't go fully. Thank you for watching the tutorial from Robojax. If you like this video and learned something, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe.